Mark Firestone. Uh, I've been working at the bench for approximately 30 years. Uh, I've used a torch basically my whole career. Um, consider myself pretty good at it. And uh, um, I love what I do. Um, and I plan on doing it for the rest of my life. And um, I recommend it to uh, people who love to work with their hands. It's a great job. You're going to be doing the same thing, the same transition. What would you, what do you recommend as far as, um, you know, doing to sort of prepare for the, or even just start thinking about, you know, uh, adopting a laser welder? Um, really, anything goes. You can just start trying things, you know, basically you just start off with a low, low voltage and, and start raising it and start experimenting with, you know, the, um, the elapsed time and the focus and just to get a feel of it. I mean, it's nothing like getting the, used to a torch. The torch took me years to really get a good handle on it, uh, where the laser welder took me a matter of a month to really get a handle on the settings and wh where I want to be for a particular piece. Um, so, I say jump in, uh, start experimenting until you get a handle on it. And once you do, it's very simple and fairly easy. And it doesn't take that long. So it's basically a dream come true. So, <laughs> what was the, what was it like to transition from using a torch for 30 years to now? You know, thinking in terms of what you know of, of using a laser welder for for that. It was amazingly quick and easy. Um, watched a couple DVDs about laser welding, and that just right there, I knew what could be done, and uh, it was just a matter of trying it out, and it was quick and easy. Um, it was uh, it's almost like magical the uh, transition, and it made my life so much easier shop because it has so many more advantages over the torch. Um, you know, uh, working on heat sensitive items, it's total transition. Um, it makes, you can, you know, weld uh, posts onto, you know, items that are uh, heat sensitive without any problem whatsoever. A little bit of, you know, polish afterwards and you're good to go. So are you using it for, like how, what percentage of the jobs are you using it for now? Uh, it's more and more, the bigger, you know, the more I use it, the more I uh, use it on things. Um, when I discover I can do something, uh, I, I start using it. And, uh, it's probably, I use it on at least 50% of the things that I work on now. And, and do you, when you say 50%, are you using it entirely or do you use it in combination with the torch? I use it in combination with the torch. So give me a, just a sort of an idea of how you do that. What is a typical yeah. sort of thing that you do that's in combination? Well, I still size basically with the torch, but I'll use the uh, laser welder to tack, say, the piece in to keep it in place, and then I solder it. I could go ahead and just use the laser, and sometimes I do, to laser the whole thing. It, it just depends on the piece. Um, but I'm pretty quick with the torch, and some, sometimes it's just quicker to go ahead and use the torch you know, for the whole thing. Uh, but if you, it's great for you know, tacking things in place and then soldering as well. So you just kind of go piece to piece depending on what you're working on. Right. So basically, there's certain jobs that, with the laser welder, you couldn't do without it. Uh, yes, I mean we used to, you know, use lead soldering and things like that on pieces where it was heat sensitive, and uh, you don't have to do that at all anymore. Which I'm really glad to get rid of any kind of lead soldering. It was bad. Um, now almost everything you can you can uh, laser weld it. A lot of it's just like putting posts on things or yeah, that sort of thing, and it, it, that's like a miracle. Putting posts on, you know, they have the new post with a little patch on it. You put a pair of posts on something in like 30 seconds, 
yeah, heat sensitive or not, it's just amazing. In the old days, you'd have to take stones out, solder something on, reset stones, then you'd have prongs that would break off. So yeah. time-wise, what about um, expense to the customer? Is it uh, Can you save money that way? You can save money that way um, because the time is cut down so much that it's not nearly as expensive to do something as it used to be. Although you'd have the uh, price of the laser welder to think of too because it's a very expensive piece of equipment so it's kind of a trade-off there. Um, but yes, it's a cost savings all the way around basically. Um, so it's, it's just a great thing. I recommend it to any goldsmith if they can get their hands on one get one because it's definitely worth it. You'll love it. So um, when when it first came, were you did you have any idea of what you were gonna do with it? I had an idea. Um, I, I had messed around with them a couple times so I kind of knew the potential and I, I you know I was excited because I knew what it was gonna do and I just didn't know exactly how long it would take me to be able to use it and how difficult it would be, and as it turns out, it was very easy uh, and quick. I mean, you'll be, you know, lasering posts on things that, could, you know, that gave you problems before, and now it's easy as pie and quick, and uh, it's, it's just a fantastic thing. Um, it's, it's basically a miracle worker in the shop, so I said get one. <laughs>